Welcome to Atarashi Hinode by T3 Solutions. This video will be helpful for CBSE 12th grade students to get an idea about art integration. This presentation is about functions. When does a relation become a function? Here let us learn this through examples. Now let us start with example 1. Here the set x consists of the elements 2, 4, 6, 9 and set y is equal to 5, 7, 9, 12. And r is a relation from x to y given by r is equal to set of all ordered pairs x, y such that y is equal to x plus 3 where x belongs to x and y belongs to y. That is here r is in the set builder form. So, this relation can also be described in the roster form as follows. A visual representation of this relation R in the form of an arrow diagram is as follows. First, we have to draw the Venn diagrams representing the sets X and Y, one opposite to other. Then we have to draw arrows from first components to the second components of all ordered pairs belonging to the relation. Here the relation is y is equal to x plus 3. So 2 will be mapped to 5, 4 to 7, 6 to 9 and 9 to 12. Now let us see whether this relation is a function or not. For that, we first need to understand what is a function. A relation R from a set X to a set Y is said to be a function if every element of a set X has one and only one image in set Y. Or in other words, a function F is a relation from a non-empty set X to a non-empty set Y, such that the domain of F is X and no two distinct ordered pairs in F have the same first element. If F is a function from X to Y and XY belongs to F, then F of X is equal to Y, where Y is called the image of X under F and X is called the pre-image of Y under F. And here the set X is called the domain, Y is called the codomain and the set consisting of all the images of the elements of X under the function F is called the range of F. The notation F from X to Y indicates that F is a function or mapping from X to Y. Also map and correspondence are the synonyms for function. Here you can see the domain is a set 2469 and the range is a set 5, 7, 9, 12. If you take a look on this, you will notice that the domain set is nothing but the set X itself. And no two distinct ordered pairs in this relation have the same first element. So this relation is a function. Now in example 2, X and Y are the same sets as, as in the previous example. But there is a change in the relation. Here the relation R is equal to set of all x, y such that y is a multiple of x where x belongs to x and y belongs to y. And its roster form is as follows. These are the Venn diagrams representing x and y. So according to the relation 2, 4, 6 are mapped to 12 and 9 to 9. Here the elements 7 and 5 don't have any pre-image. The domain set is 2469 and the range set is 912. Since the condition to be a function is satisfied here, we can say that this relation is a function. Let us go to example 3. Here set x is equal to 2469 and set y is equal to 5712. And the relation is same as the previous example. On proceeding, we can map 2, 4, 6 to 12, but the element 9 doesn't have any image. 
So it is clear that this relation is not a function. This is the last example. Here we have different sets with the same relation. Now if you map the elements with respect to the relation, all the elements in X are having images in Y. But if you observe, you can see that the element 3 has more than one image. Therefore, this relation is not a function. If you are given a graph of a relation, how will you recognize whether it is a function or not? We can do so by the vertical line test. What is a vertical line test? Under this test, graph of given relation is drawn assuming elements of domain along x-axis. If a vertical line drawn anywhere in the graph intersects the graph at only one point, then we can say that the relation is a function. Otherwise, it is not a function. Or in other words, a curve in a plane represents the graph of a real function if and only if no vertical line intersects it more than once. Let us consider some graphs. Let us examine this graph. If you move this vertical line from left to right of the graph, you can see that the line doesn't intersect the graph more than once. So, this graph of relation is a function. In the second graph, when we move the line from right to left of this graph, you can see it intersects the graph at only one point. So, this graph of relation is also a function. Moving on to the third graph, the line intersects the graph at more than one point except for the point where the line is a tangent. Hence, this graph is not a function. In the last graph, the line initially intersects only at one point, but moving it further, it intersects the graph more than once. Therefore, it is also not a function. So, I hope it is clear about functions. See you in another video.